In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create these beautiful light rays. And guess what? We don't use any light effects or plugins. Nope, we create something unique. The only effect we use is CC Radial Fast Blur and a few basic expressions and expression controls. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel and let's dive right in. First of all, we add a null object. That's where we add all the expression controls to. Let's name it Controls. The great thing about this project is it's a rig, so you can easily adjust it and use it many times. Then we choose the Star tool and double click on it. Let's name the layer Light Ray. We move it below the Controls layer in the layer stacking order and we use a solid fill, no stroke. Then we add the only effect we'll use. CC Radial Fast Blur. Let's do the Effects and Presets window to search it and add it. Set the amount to 100. The center is in the center of the comb, just like the shape. Then we set the blending mode of the layer to screen. Let's open the Polystore Path property, the shape and the effect generate the light rays. If we change the inner and outer radius of a shape, the brightness and the length of the light rays change. The amount of points sets the amount of rays. And we have the color of the rays, of course, which is the fill color. By animating the position and rotation of the star shape, we animate the light rays. And this animation is driven by the wiggle expression. We open the position property and add an expression. Then before adding the wiggle expression, we add the seed random expression and link the value to the index number of the layer. Add a semicolon to make sure each layer has a different animation pattern. Then we add wiggle and add 0.1,30 in parentheses and the light rays move slightly. 0.1 is the speed of the animation, 30 the amount of movement. Simple expressions like the wiggle expression make your life so much easier. You can create a particle rig, for example. Once set up, you can use it again and again and again. Impossible with keyframes. Or create responsive animations that automatically adjust to your comp size. I know this is overwhelming at the beginning. That's why in my course, we start from zero. In 30 lessons, we go through the basics. Basic expressions, responsive animations, dynamic text animations, and repetitive techniques. A more than 50 page long expression sheet will accompany you. Plus bonus content with even more application examples. Upgrade your skills and learn how to animate with expressions in After Effects. Make sure to check out the link. We want to control these two values with slider controls and a few more properties. Let's select the null object. We go to Effect, Expression Controls and add a slider control and duplicate it a few times. We need five altogether. We lock the view so that the window is visible all the time. Let's name the first one Speed. We adjust the range and set the two value to two. Let's set the speed to 0,1 for now. We name the second one Movement and increase the value to 200. Let's set it to something like 100 for now. The next one, Raise Amount. That's the amount of points of the star shape. We set the slider range from 3 to 10. A star can't have less than 3 points. We set it to 3 for now. Then go into the Polystore Path property and link the points property to the slider control. The next one, we name it Ray Length. That's the inner radius. We link the property to the slider control, increase the value, then raise brightness. 
we link the auto radius property to the slider control. 130. To control the color, we need a color control. We go to effect and expression controls again and add a color control. Let's name it race color. We link the fill property to the color control and adjust the color. I think a grayish purple looks nice. Finally, we need to replace the two values in the wiggle expression with links to the slider controls. Therefore, we define a variable for each value. Var s, like speed, equals, we link to the speed slider control. Semicolon. Var m, like movement, equals, we link to the movement slider control. Semicolon. Then we replace the two values with the variables in the wiggle expression. S, the speed, and M, the movement. Now, we can adjust the behavior of the light rays easily through slider controls. We copy the expression, open the rotation property, press Shift R, add an expression and paste it into the expressions field. Now, the rotation property is animated as well, controlled by the same slider controls. Let's increase the two value of the ray length range. We set it to, to 200. All right, we duplicate the shape layer three times. And we created beautiful and unique light rays without any of the light effects and after effects. Learn more about expressions in my course. Animating with expressions, link is in the description. To animate the star shapes, like I did in the intro, link all the shapes to the null object, then animate the position of it. On the left side, I've added a video you might like. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye everyone.